area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat. We got to speak. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. So, um, hold up. I'm glad to see what I'm seeing. I'm, gl I'm glad this is going to go like this. Rum Nitty versus Geechee Gotti. We already thought it was going to be one of them ones, but they're pushing the EFB to the side. They're pushing the brotherhood to the side. They're pushing the fact that they're family to the side because for a hundred band, a hundred bands, look, listen, for 12 minutes, we can't be friends. We can't be partners. Nobody wanted it like that. We didn't want it to be a friendly little battle where, you know, at the end it's like, surprise guys, we're going to split it down the middle. No, 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 no. We've been talking about this tournament for almost two, three months now. Uh, week for week, people have been getting eliminated. Y'all got this far. It is time to kill someone. That's the way it should be. Like, it ain't gonna be no friend, no friendly nothing. So, Rum Nitty comes out and says, Hate it had to be my bro, but it's a hundred on the line. No mercy will be shown. Hate it had to be my bro, but it's a hundred on the line. No mercy shall be shown. You're already rapping. I see what I see what you're trying to do here. You're already rapping before it's time to start rapping. Your performance versus Cortez, I must say, to me, this is just my personal opinion, was one of the best performances in any tournament. Was probably the performance of all the Ultimate Madnesses. This man went crazy. Like, in a lot of his rounds that he had before getting to this performance, he had a lot of bars that people were sleeping on that went over heads. Because the thing is, we're so used to Rum Nitty performing at a high level and having all of these punches and haymakers back to back to back that sometimes he may have fire material that gets super slept on. He said in one of his rounds versus drugs, you couldn't take Rum to war in a canteen. Like, that is cr like. Yeah, so it's Memorial Day, right? Salute to all the veterans out there. Salute to all of the people that, you know, have served in the armed services. And much respect to the veterans that we've lost, you know what I'm saying? But to take rum to war in a canteen, that's fucking... And it was mad other bars that he had that just went over people's heads. Now, Gishi Gotti, he's one of them ones that he just literally has muscled his way. He's used his muscle to work with the hustle and just basically bully balled his way throughout the tournament winning every single battle clearly and now they have to face each other and hold on i've been hearing there's another tournament that's gonna go on i got some info from a a little birdie that told me another tournament that's gonna be going down for like 30, 40, 50, 40 grand, some kind of big money that's going down. Another, This man, Gishi Gotti, has a chance to win Ultimate Madness, then spin the block and be in another tournament to win another. Salute to my man, Debo, Greedy Gotti. Greedy Gotti is the new name. He's overcharging niggas for what they did to the Cold Crush. If he wins both tournaments, where does that set him? Where does he go? That's 140,000 in a month's time frame? Crazy, son. But let's just get right, keep, keep going, going with the dialogue. So he says, no mercy will be shown. Uh, get you got the ass rum nitty. You my brother, before that 100,000, I'm gonna knock your head clean off. You hear me? Good, EFB. Rum nitty responds, you will have, you gonna have to show me. We are not gonna be brothers for a whole 12 minutes on the 12th, it's Gone get ugly. So, when you look at Rum Nitty versus Geechee Gotti, uh, Geechee Gotti has the better resume. Uh, Geechee Gotti has more star power. Geechee Gotti has the ability to uh, muscle his way through battles and use current event bars. And, and you know, he has crazy lines like with the kid and play bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, you worrying about a house party, go get your kid and play. Like, he's the Rum Nitty. 
Geechee Gotti has the bigger star power and the bigger presence, but Rum Nitty is the better puncher. To me, Rum Nitty is better lyrically and has better bars. But if Rum Nitty can channel up to Geechee Gotti's level, see, this is star versus star. This is not like, I don't feel like somebody's at a competitive disadvantage. They battled before, but it was just outside. It wasn't really too much of a, uh, that battle that they had was kind of like a scrimmage game. It did not, it was not a barometer to set apart either MC for me to feel like I got a clear depicted winner going into this. But with a more powerful performance in the battle versus Cortez, Romniti clearly set himself apart performance wise, you know what I'm saying? So going into it, a lot of folks may have Romniti win, a lot of folks may have Gigi Gotti win. To me, it's almost 50-50. Like you could literally flip a coin and I would not be surprised if Gigi Gotti won this battle. I would not be surprised if Rum Nitty wins this battle. The disadvantage for Rum Nitty is the fan base standpoint. Gichi Gotti has a way bigger fan base. Gichi Gotti does more as far as like promoting himself, being out there, being vocal, having clothing, having uh, podcasts, and just being a bigger name. You know what I'm saying? He's won champion of the year twice. He's got a bigger name, you know what I'm saying? So but to have a bigger name, it means a lot when it comes down to fan votes if you're in a close battle. And then plus, like when it comes to a judging system, you got four judges and you got a fan vote. Geechee Gotti is probably going to, it's going to be damn near impossible to beat Geechee Gotti in a straight up fan polled vote. That's going to be a tall task to order. Um, but I will say this, right? Regardless of who wins or regardless how it goes, I do respect the fact that these guys are going to put on a show. This right here is the best battle of known. This will be the best battle. This will be the war. This will be the classic. This will leave us all like, whoa, Gigi Gotti versus Rum Nitty was what everybody expected. Like, I'm not waiting for this to come out to watch again. Screen record, gang, we will be in the build. I got to, I got to see this more than once. I got to see this more than once. I can't see a battle for 100,000 only one time. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, it is what it is, man. I'm sorry, but it's not a game, no Atari. I got to get mine. I got to get mine. You're going to get yours, so I got to get mine. Like, I'm going to see this more than once. It just is what it is. I, I, I can't call it no other way. Uh, there's another card going on on June the 5th. Uh, it's got Danny Myers versus Shotgun Shug. Uh, it's got Quest McCody versus Nun Nun. Prez Mafia versus uh who's press mafia about i tried to remember the whole shit in my head danger zone danger zone been on like the same level for like the last 10 years like danger zone I, I, some niggas they just never gonna elevate danger zone he's been on the same level this fucking this uh survivor series store legacy level i remember one time danger zone was one of the most dangerous mcs in the world he was considered one of the top five he was doing crazy back in like 15 or some shit like that now he's just stuck on the same level in the game you know like when you can't beat the game you get stuck on the same level this nigga's on the same level ain't going nowhere um hopefully this helps him elevate you know what i'm saying i'm not hating i'm just calling like calls i can't spoil it you know the truth sound like hate to niggas who hate the truth uh prep versus drugs who really gives a fuck i mean <laughs> one nigga don't win no battles and he's booked on every card. That's that PDMV shit. Uh, prep, I got prep winning that shit three or whatever. Um, and then you got next versus murder. I ain't really seen a lot of either or, so I mean, we'll, we'll get what we get. But I mean, I'm really probably gonna be focused on the Danny Myers versus Shotgun Shook. I'll recap that shit. The rest, I mean, it's, it's, it's it is what it is. If I peep it, I'm gonna be working anyway. So I. I I'm, I'm not really hyped for it. I'm, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and cap in my rap for y'all niggas, man. Um, but Danny Myers versus Shotgun Shug. Uh, Danny's taking a lot of fucking battles, bro. He's, this nigga battled every day. Like, he battled a nigga on fucking Gates of the Garden yesterday. He got a battle next week. He got a battle fucking real sick the week after. That's a very dangerous path, you know what I'm saying? This nigga got 12 kids. He's taking 12 battles a day or some shit like that. I don't know what's going on. But... We'll see where that goes, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the prepping drugs, like really, I, do I really give a fuck? Like I don't give a fuck about that shit going. Like it, I'm just sorry, it is what it is. I mean, what prep two one? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I got him winning, but I don't really care. But um, yeah, Gigi Gotti versus Rum Nitty, um, that's gonna be fire. They're gonna bring their A game. They're gonna have a war, and I'm glad about the fact that these guys are not going to uh, play with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to play with each other. They're not going to 
they not finna like like bullshit around. You're gonna get straight war for what is that? Um, 12 minutes? Those see, you know what the thing I've been noticing? What makes when you overpack your rounds, like your round has more material in it, like your your the rounds is like 2:30 or three minutes, and then you write four minute rounds. When you get to a certain part of your round and they trying to call time on you. Geechee does his thing. He's like, fuck that clock. Nah, let me keep rapping. Nah, stop that shit. Y'all gotta let these niggas rap, son. Like, that two-minute shit, that two-minute 30, y'all gotta get... Son, they gotta have a regular battle. This gotta be like 3.30s. You gotta let them rap. You can't be rapping for no two minutes and 30 seconds for no 100 that Bro, you gotta let them rap, son. These niggas, they gotta be able to throw the kitchen sink at each other. Don't fuck that clock, man. I be... I be that's the reason why I retired, man. Because I was like, man, I ain't wanna wake up for work no more. I was like, fuck that clock. You gotta be like F that clock. Bro, let these niggas rap, son. I know I got enough clout to where people are gonna see it, but bro, nobody wants time called on them for a hundred grand, especially when they talking about bringing their oil and trying to smoke each other. You wanna see somebody get smoked. You do not wanna see somebody play around with that kind of money. You know what I'm saying? May the best man win 55. I'm still 50-50. I'm 50-50 going into it, but I do respect the fact that y'all not finna play with each other. Other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all out there, gang.